First up tonight, if New South Wales Premier Gladys Berejiklian was a team player, she'd allow Northern New South Wales to become part of Queensland. That's what Queensland Premier Anastasia Palaszczuk and Gold Coast Mayor Tom Tate want. They want the border moved seven kilometres south to stop all this cross-border pandemic pandemonium. I think they should take it even further south. When our forebears first started drawing up state boundaries many moons ago, Queensland was to begin around Grafton, not the Tweed Heads border. Somewhere along the way, that notion was kiboshed and instead they went with the current border, which is a shame, really. For starters, you wouldn't have this Checkpoint Charlie fiasco where people in Tweed Heads are going nuts trying to go about their normal daily lives right now caught up in traffic jams, constantly having to demonstrate to police that they're just doing their job travelling from northern New South Wales to Queensland. It's outrageous and a bit silly, really, isn't it? But rules are rules, and when nightclub owners are being fined seven grand in Queensland for inadvertently allowing patrons to dance, well, you know, the cops are fair income. Then you've got daylight saving. Don't get me started. The annual cross-border madness would be moved 250 kilometres south if New South Wales Premier uh, Gladys Berejiklian is convinced of this. There's no sign yet that she is. But she needs to understand that it's her national duty. It's her national duty to cede a big swathe of her state to Queensland. Queensland might finally win the Origin Series. Let's not forget Northern New South Wales is a nursery, a great nursery for rugby league players. And, it, and at least Queensland will get better roads. I mean, let's face it, the Pacific Highway roadworks in northern New South Wales between Tweed Heads and Coffs Harbour, Woolgooga, fast becoming the Rolls Royce of major highways, all at a cost of close to $6 billion. Now, there's a million people living in that northern New South Wales region. That's a lot of tax revenue. And with Queensland going broke, extending the border is the Sunshine State's best shot at more revenue and better roads. Come on, Gladys. It's the least you could do to help Queensland out in its time of need. After all, we're all in this together, aren't we?